Greetings, cats and kittens. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back to Libby's Lullabies. Today, I am going to be reading A Diary of a Worm by Doreen Cronin with pictures by Harry Bliss. So I want you guys to sit back or lie down. Either way, enjoy the story. And I would like to thank Miss Amelia Taylor for recommending today's story. Thank you, Amelia. March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. One, the earth gives us everything we need. Mm -hmm. Two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. Must make tunnel, help earth breathe. And three, never bother daddy when he's eating the newspaper. Chomp, 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 chomp. March 29th. Today I tried to teach Spider how to dig. Hmm. The spider looks a tad confused. First of all, his legs got stuck. I think I've twisted one of my ankles. <laughs> Poor thing. Then he swallowed a bunch of dirt give up. I give up. Tomorrow, he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. Okay, that sounds interesting, I think. March 30th. Worms cannot walk upside down. Mm. No. No, they can't. April 4th. Fishing season started today. We all dug deeper. Did you hear? Hey, did you guys hear something? <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, poor grandpa just snoring away. April 10th. It rained all night and the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. Oh. I bet it is a dangerous game if you're on the sidewalk. April 15th, I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I ate my homework. <laughs> my teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework 10 times. 10, 10 times. When I was finished, I ate that too. <laughs> I will not eat my homework. I will not eat my homework. And he's got all the little chew marks on the paper. He obviously ate his homework. April 20th. I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. <laughs> I wiggled up right between them and they screamed. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I love when they do that. <laughs> May 1st. Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today I said good morning to the first aunt I saw. Good morning. There were 600 more of them in line. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Nice to see you. Howdy. Good morning. I stood there all day. 600 good mornings? I bet that was an all day affair. <laughs> May 8th, had the worst nightmare last night. The worst. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. Well, you know, they say junk food can give you nightmares. That's what I heard. May 15th. I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me you need legs to be cool. Then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. May 16th. I made Spider laugh so hard, he fell out of his tree. Who needs legs? <laughs> Who needs legs? May 28th. Last night I went to the school dance. 
You put your head in, you put your head out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's all we could do. June 5th. Today we made macaroni necklaces in art class. <laughs> I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. I bet that was good. I like macaroni. June 15th. My older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. Spider thought that was really funny. Mom did not. I should say not. It wasn't very nice. July 4th. When I grow up, I want to be a Secret Service agent. Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him. But someone's got to do it. Mm. July 28th. Three things I don't like about being a worm. One. I can't chew gum. Two, I can't have a dog. Oh, come on, Mom. Can we keep him? Mom? <laughs> Mom's kind of freaked out. Three, all that homework, digging the history, soil through the ages, night crawlers, compost 101. July 29th. Three good things about being a worm. One, I never have to go to the dentist. No cavities, no teeth either. Two, I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house. And three, I never have to take a bath. Who's my grubby little boy? Who's my grubby little boy? <laughs> Amelia, I'm loving the story. August 1st. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small, and sometimes people forget that we're even here. But like mom always says, the earth never forgets that we're here. Let's give Amelia a round of applause. Let's give her a round of applause for such a sweet story. Thank you so, so much. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your day or your evening, your week or your weekend, and I will see you next time on Libby's Lullabies. Cheers.